Second, file types. ZW3D provides a special file type called Multi Object File. This file can hold many parts, assembly, join sheets, and cam plans as you desire. System setting. On the configuration table, you can define the background, file folder, template settings, and other parameters as you want. In every ZW3D 2013 version of Windows 7 operation system, the first step is to create a new file. ZW3D's file type, like I mentioned above, is a multi-object file. In this file, we can directly add a new object, such as creating a solid part. Now let's do an example. First, we name the part. Then, we quickly create a block and try to use the fillet feature. Pick these edges. Change view to get the hidden edges. Okay, now we get it. We put a cylinder over the block. Continue to use the fillet feature. On the right menu, we can also pick other commands like chamfer. At the modeling interface, we can easily go to the 2D sheets, select templates. Now we can adjust these scales to create a standard view. Exit the 2D sheets and back to the previous interface. ZW3D file contains the solid parts and 2D joints integrated in one file. Okay, let's see the configuration. On the configuration table, designers can set different parameters according to their habits. The part table, 2D, colors, and background. You can take different items to change the background. On the file table, we can define the default template and set the working file folder for directly saving and opening files. On my PC, I define ZW3D chaining in F drive as my working file folder.